Dude, is it sad if I'm literally scared if this is real, fake, you know it's on trending, it could be an elaborate hoax, I don't know. Uh, if you're like me and a Kingdom Hearts fan, huge Kingdom Hearts fan, we waited like 15 years for Kingdom Hearts 3. Apparently this is a Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. I, I, I'm a little like, I don't believe it. Maybe it's just a teaser. I don't know. It just seems so close. Maybe it's what they do is they go 1, 2, 15 years, 3, 4, 15 years, and then we get number 5. I have no idea. But I'm, like, skeptical. Otherwise, I would be shaking about this. <laughs> That's how much of a Kingdom Hearts fan I am. Like, look, my Kingdom Hearts shirt is beat this shit. I've worn it so much. Kingdom Hearts 2, of course. Anyway, before we get into this... I'm Kyle Spivak, I'm a rapper and reactor here on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, you can go ahead and check my music out, check my reactions out, I do a lot of like, break, breakdowns of rap, a little bit of Japanese, like metal and stuff, different things, uh, and you can like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you're not, and comment down below something about this video or a request for a reaction, you can also go ahead and check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel since I'm unable to monetize at the moment. And also on the Patreon, uh, the higher tiers, you can actually make sure that your request gets done, as opposed to just leaving a comment and hoping. Anyway, that's enough about me. You're not here for that. You're here for the reaction. So let's get into it. Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal trailer. Please don't be fake. Oh! It's got to be real. Lost Master Arc. So that is uh, from Kingdom Hearts Key or whatever. Chi, the, the cross, Union Cross, all that. Uh, that was, there was the Masters and the One, and then he was like Xehanort's. So, ah, uh, dude, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm hyped now. Yo. Okay, I just Okay, I just want to say, I, we already kind of had like a tease of this world being like, basically like Shibuya, from Tokyo, you know, all that kind of Japan stuff. I've actually been there, which is dope. I've been wanting a game that takes place in Japan where you can walk around. I know there's the Yakuza series, but ugh, and like, a couple other things like Ghostwire, but if this is a Kingdom Hearts game in the middle of Japan, oh. You can actually check out my vlogs when I went in Japan, and they actually had the Kingdom Hearts 3 advertisements on all the 7-Elevens and stuff. Pretty cool. But, we're here for this. This looks like real life. How is this Kingdom Hearts? Wow. Wow. Oh my god. But before we get into this, can we just take a minute to look at Sora? So the redesign, I like it. It's very Kingdom Hearts 3, but like minus the plaid and everything. Uh, this just looks like... <clears throat> like, if you played any Japanese game to be, like, a realistic game, like Yakuza or something, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then, like, just look at, like, oh my god, the fidelity. Now, I know this is a rendered cutscene and not going to be gameplay, but, like, you can see every, like, it's not just texture on his coat, it's, like, threaded, literally, like, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's right, because at the end of uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, he did kind of like disappear into nothingness. I think it had to do something with him abusing the power of waking towards the end. Uh, it was a little unclear exactly what happened and how we're getting Sora from there to here. Maybe I did miss a little bit with the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross stuff, but... This really does look like he just got teleported into Japan, maybe because the multiverse is so popular, we're doing like a multiversal Kingdom Hearts, which... <laughs> Please. 
This is literally Japan. Like, this doesn't even look like... Like, an artistic version of it. This literally looks like Japan. Yo, yes. That looks so weird. Oh my god. Ugh. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Yo, get the fuck out of here. No. Wait, what was that? Whoa. What the fuck? That was like a drill?一度退場すれば元の世界に戻れると思うな。おう。Where え、残りに近づくといいね。マレフィセント。はい。どこへ行くんだ。No。マーリン。おお。なんなんマーリンあ。あ。I'm Magician helps everybody. Sends you back in Dream Drop. Okay, now that I kind of like let the video go through, I didn't want to cut it too much. Uh, let me rewind a little bit. There was some shit um, right here. Yeah, he has like a like a zip line thing coming out the end of his keyblade. That's fucking cool. So that's probably going to tie into like the flow motion and the parkour mechanics we saw like really emphasizing Kingdom Hearts three and these giant worlds. Now I'm just hoping that this is. If it's just a set piece or something, could it be big enough that we could explore a little bit? Like, I want to be in Japan like this, please. And in Kingdom Hearts form, that's crazy. Oh my god, I didn't even notice this redesign right here. So, if you look at his shoes, if you know Kingdom Hearts, they typically have had, like, these big Disney-esque shoes, the long feet. I thought his feet looked kind of weird and long, but nah. But right here, he's just wearing some normal, like, sneakers. So, yeah, I'm liking the Sora redesign. I mean, it's a little weird. Like, he looks like a Kingdom Hearts character, but everybody else just looks normal. It, it's kind of like Mario Odyssey when we saw New Donk City. Like, those weren't the most realistic looking people, but Mario just did not fit. And then here we have, like, uh, where was the part where he shoots him? Okay, so this kind of, I thought he was going to, like, seal him or something. This kind of looks like the, the ceiling. But then it, it changed to, uh, I forget what the name of it was, but in Kingdom Hearts 3, you could, like, transform your Keyblade into, like, guns or, uh, different, like, upgraded kind of things, depending on how you were fighting and what spells you were using and different stuff. Uh, yeah, dude, this looks like the evolution of Kingdom Hearts as far as gameplay goes. Uh, and then this, this Heartless guy, we didn't really talk about him, uh, he looks like the typical first Heartless that you fight, like the intro when you do the dive and then you choose and you fight the big dude and even Rox has his own like uh, nobody version of it. Uh, but this is cool, they made him like super demonic looking I guess to fit into the realism. They gave him the wings, they really like played with it and made it like full, like this feels more like a Final Fantasy game than what we've had before where it was kind of a merge. 
I wonder if that's because we're going to be taking Kingdom Hearts in a new direction and stepping away from the uh, from all the Disney stuff. Which is interesting though because we did at the end get this bit here with Goofy and Donald. So um, I'm I'm not sure how that's going to tie into the story and everything, but that's super 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 interesting. I'm obviously hype. I mean, you say Kingdom Hearts, and I'm already interested. Even when it was like the mobile game, the rhythm game, the you know, <laughs> uh, us Kingdom Hearts fans, we're masochists. We just love to to just hate ourselves. Basically, <laughs> it's gonna be like ten years until this game comes out. Probably, I don't know, but I'm excited. It looks great. Uh, but yeah, so those are my closing thoughts. Again, if you want to support the channel, Patreon is the best way to do it. Otherwise, just subscribe, like the video, comment some stuff, and uh, hope to see you next time. Hey guys, once again, I want to say thank you for watching the video and give a quick shout out to my patrons. Currently, we don't have anyone in the reaction faction, but miraculously, we do have somebody in the legendary tier already. And that is Jen Lee. What a boss. Oh my god. So, if you want a quick shout out at the end of the video like this, or you want to make sure that your reaction is done 100% for sure, go ahead on over to the Patreon account, and uh, there's different donation tiers depending on what you would like. Anyway, thanks again for watching the video, and goodbye!